Some people are really f***ing stupid. <laughs> Did you ever notice that? How many really stupid people you run into during the day? And it doesn't take you very long to spot one of them, does it? Take you about eight seconds. You'll be listening to some guy. You say, what, what, what? This guy is f***ing stupid. <laughs> What's up guys, boy, Benny. So how do you know that you have cultural relevance? How do you know that your message is being heard by the widest possible demographic of people? Presumably if you want influence and you're doing a job that is influential, you'd want to be greeted at varying events like this. This is the way that Tucker Carlson was greeted at, well, not the RNC convention, interestingly enough. Not a uh, Republican gathering at a state level or some type of political conference. Although I've seen Tucker greeted like this at all of those things. This is the way Tucker Carlson was greeted quite ravenously at a Kid Rock concert just days ago. The people screaming, cheering, shrieking. Tucker Carlson shrieking back. <laughs> Guys with Trump flags, I mean, come on. And Tucker Carlson being pushed by the security to get going. Tucker Carlson would go on to actually give a speech at this Kid Rock concert and open up for Kid Rock. So what's to make, what are you to make of this? What are you to make of this? This is an important moment in American history where you are starting to see a lot of sides unite. This is of course, Tucker Carlson's speech at the Kid Rock concert in small town, Louisiana. The country they tell me about on the internet is effed up. The country that I experienced when I walk through this crowd or when I wake up in the town, in my town of hundred people, it's a beautiful country. Tucker Carlson was cheered and this video got millions of views and it did 5,000 retweets and 30,000 likes. People love this. The cross section of America that simply wants to live free is growing and it's growing exponentially. And what's cool about this moment is that you're starting to see the world's blend. Now I was able to witness this when we sat right next to Mr. Beast and Logan Paul and Aiden Ross, Dana White, Donald Trump, Candace Owens at a Dave Portnoy at a UFC concert. Like we were all within, you, you literally could reach out and touch any of those people. It's freaking awesome. It's like the world that just wants to live free and put America first and put our country before other countries is so big. And our movement is so big. Oh, did I mention that Joe Rogan was at that UFC event? Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Rogan was out to dinner with Tucker Carlson and Tucker Carlson was welcomed on stage right after that dinner in Joe Rogan's comedy club. There's a podcast called Kill Tony, which is a stand-up comedy. I was not familiar with this podcast. It's a stand-up comedy thing where at, that happens at Joe Rogan's comedy club. Joe Rogan, famous for doing stand-up comedy, has a great comedy club in downtown Austin. And Joe Rogan welcomed Tucker Carlson on stage for the podcast. Now, the point of the podcast is that these up-and-coming stand-up comedians, they get a chance to perform for 60 seconds at Joe Rogan's club. And so you, you know, you get this really, and then you have like sort of a panel of judges, right? And so Tucker Carlson was the celebrity judge. And what was really interesting is that like the response to Tucker's presence there was hysterical in and of itself. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna explain to you why. And uh, I'm gonna show you why. So here's Tucker Carlson's entrance to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Tucker Carlson and Joe Rogan. <laughs> No idea this was going on until 30 seconds ago. I love it. He had no idea he was going on stage. He's just finding out right now. 
we were literally at dinner and he's like, I want to show you my new place. And we're standing backstage and I didn't know I was coming out until I heard my name. <laughs> <laughs> we call that the old Post Malone right there. <laughs> We've That's done we, this before. We did the Post Malone the same thing. So Tucker Carlson got a uh, rowdy, a rowdy welcome to the stage. And then the comics walked out and began performing. Now, the one clip that's going the most viral is a comic that walked out and calls Tucker the N word <laughs> and says his family hates him. That's fun. Yeah, I don't know how you do it, man. What's up, fuck nigga, you good? Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Cam Patterson and <laughs> Tucker Carlson high five and this is Yeah, this is crazy. My grandma hates you. <laughs> <laughs> She gonna love this shit, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful, man. Hell yeah. When I see y'all, like, they gonna my grandma up right now. I'm gonna talk to his ass. Yeah, that's dope, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Isn't it like healing? Isn't it like the difference between uh, like us and them, right? And by them, I mean the people who are incapable of laughing at themselves. Like, could you ever imagine anyone on the left, like anyone on the institutional left, the way that Tucker Carlson is on, like, the technically the institutional right, right? He's a huge audience, big time name, well known. And Tucker Carlson, could you imagine somebody like, like, be laughing at jokes like that about that? Could you imagine Hillary, Hillary Clinton laughing at a joke like that about her? Right? Or, or Anderson Cooper? Or anybody, any of the women on The View? Could you could you conceive of it, Don Lemon? No, of course not. Nobody would even nobody would nobody even feel so strongly about those people that ever make jokes like that because most people don't know the hell Don Lemon is. But it's like it's healing actually to have moments like this. But there was only, as far as we can tell, one adversarial, and if you can even call that adversarial, my grandmother hates you. Uh, that it, it, you know whatever everyone was laughing, Tucker's laughing. There's only one adversarial comic that night at this kill tony there were a lot of very interesting other comics including some big time pro tucker comics that we thought were drop dead hysterical check this out absolutely like you said your family the opposite of cam patterson's <laughs> grandmother uh they love tucker carlson <laughs> how does it feel to be here in front of tucker joe and jim it really is a treat, Tucker. I genuinely have to ask you, did that one guy suck Obama's <laughs> Did that actually happen? <laughs> Holy <laughs> I have the answer, and let me say I don't judge, yeah. but oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been wondering that, honestly. That's been something that I've been wondering he, he about. He told me off camera I actually did that. I was like, ugh. But he did. He did. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Not, 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 ki was... not kidding at all. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. The question everyone wanted to ask Tucker, and it has been answered yeah. here on Kill Tony. The look on Joe Rogan's face says it all. <laughs> You should have brought him with you. It could have all got blown. <laughs> yeah, so that's freaking hilarious. I mean, I gotta follow that guy. It's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know. It looks like Oliver Anthony, right? It's great. This is great. The guy loves, clearly loves Tucker Carlson because he's doing an entire bit on Tucker Carlson's show, like on on jokes Tucker Carlson's made. It's it's hilarious. So there was also a guy who must be of like Mexican or Hispanic descent, a comic who got up there and asked Tucker Carlson for a green card. For you to hang up the uh, Bucky helmet. It was, it was hard, bro, but it, I think it's, it was the right decision, you know? Yeah, yeah. Got it was to the do right it. decision. But that was the only sauna therapy I was getting at the moment. You know? 
Tucker, what did you think about uh, Enrique Chacon? You watch a lot of stand up. You a fan of stand up? I love this man. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in return you can give me a green card. You know. What I'm <laughs> I'll do any gig in this country, but outside the country, I'm at the end of my man Tucker. You know what I mean? You You're already me. taking jobs Americans can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Enrique, who do you think Tucker Carlson is? <laughs> He's I'm new sorry, here. Man. I saw the wig. I was like, dude, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to tug on it. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, hey, uh, that's some that's some good weave, dog. That's some good weave. He must have got that weave in Houston. That's fucking fire. Well, it's time for you to weave, Enrique. Uh, we love you. There he goes, the great love Enrique Chacon. Thank you. All right. So a great night had by all. Tucker Carlson's uh, exit from the stage is just as good as his entrance. Check this out. Tucker mother Carlson! So, yeah, that totally kicked ass. I encourage you to go watch the entire thing. It's up on YouTube. Follow the channel. I just did. And um, legends for having Tucker Carlson. Isn't that healing? Isn't that healing? Isn't that nice? Don't you want to, don't you want to be part of that movement? I think of a political party like this. It's like a party. It's pretty easy. It's a party. What kind of party you want to go to? You want to go to a party where people are having fun or people are enjoying themselves or people are talking and laughing and laughing at themselves and talking shit. Like that's actually how you know you like somebody is when they can self-deprecating humor, when they can like, cut, cut, like laugh. It's really important to be able to do that. And so this is the kind of party that we have, right? The America First movement and the freedom movement and it's the kind of party that's attracting a lot of people. You should join by subscribing. It's your boy Benny, like, share, and subscribe. See ya.